Hi, this is Flicky. Welcome to the Road to Glory Career Mode Youth Edition with Mansfield Town. Welcome to episode 100. It's amazing we are actually 100 episodes into this save. Anyway, let's go to the calendar. We're going to start this episode off with a, a game when we play Fulham at home in the Premier League. And that's going to be on the 4th of May. And then we have the second leg in the semi-final of the Europa League. We're playing Chelsea away on the 8th of May. And then a few days rest before we play Spurs away in the league. And we're going to end the episode on the 14th of, of May. When we play Villa, or Aston Villa that is, at home on the 14th. So then it's just going to be one more game in the league. Chelsea, you know, and uh, it's not many games left to the season. But let's go take three points when we play, you know, Fulham at home at the field mill. Come on, boys. Well, this is the setting for our featured match today. Welcome to you. Martin Tyler here with Alan Smith. Premier League football for you very shortly. It's Mansfield Town and they take on Fulham, attacker in the lineup. So here we go. There, his defenders will thank him for that. Goes for punch. Picks up the up, back the up, and it's been coming. Better side, and you have to score when you're on top. We wondered whether they would do that, but they have done, and they've done it in fine style. Well, it looks simple, but this lad has got a great instinct to drift it into space, being in the right place at the right time. Well, it's a goal worth replaying over and over again, isn't it? It's been tight before that goal, but now the manager is so pleased because I reckon he feels his team can go on and win this. So the first goal, it's 1-0. And Strong, powerful clearance. Results out there. Restarting at 2 0. A chance to whip it in here. Clever feet there to go inside his man. He tried the shot. Ball, as far as possession goes, you can see the manager down there is less than happy. Obviously, his team's losing. That's bad enough, but. No real sign so far that they're going to get back into this because they're just not. That's what they've been looking for. The ball in behind. Opportunity now. Saved by the keeper. He's definitely got his goal back to get into the way, hasn't he? The last of a decent one. Here's the second. 
second. Still time for more to come. You can't be too critical of the keeper. He just needed some help from his defenders there. And here is another angle on that goal. Amazing first half in this game. Have a look at that scoreline. The two managers have summed it up. I think there's not going to be much between them. Should be a chance. And they anticipated the direction of the pass and was able to intervene. Shreds it through. That's the keeper of the beat. That's got to keep calm. Well, that should be the game. You could call it another insurance goal. We expected this, such a one-sided affair, but look at the score Right on the big day, you would have thought ability-wise it's uh, very much a level pegging here, but in fact, that is a fantastic goal. The goal scores, they have kept on going almost to the end. Yeah, even the fans aren't getting too excited, I think they feel it. What is seen from three minutes. this uh, period of play to add on three minutes. Akiyoko. Hans Hattabur. Atabur. White. Trying to get involved, I think the foot. Step by step, Alan. We win four goals to one. That was beautiful. Three more points in the league. Uh, second place is not. You know, it's we, we can reach that one. We we are aiming for a second place, definitely. Now we're gonna focus on the second leg of the Europa League semi-final when we played Chelsea at Stamford Bridge. We have two goals to zero with us. So we're two goals up. If we manage to score, you know, the, the important away goal rule, if we can score away at the Stamford Bridge, <clears throat> it's going to be interesting. It's going to be really, really, really interesting. I'm, I'm, to be honest, I'm very nervous now because Chelsea can easily just score like three, four goals if if you're not focused. You have to be on your toes for the entire game or they will punish you. It's a solid, solid team. Um, yeah. But I'm going to try and kill the game, definitely. So we're going to Stamford Bridge playing the best team we have and we might be through to the final come on boys excitement and drama in prospect tonight here at Stamford Bridge in West London my name is Derek Ray and with me in the commentary position is the former Arsenal fullback Lee Dixon and it comes down to this the second leg of this semi-final in the UEFA Europa League it's Chelsea and they face Mansfield Town yeah thanks Jerry Chelsea with plenty of work to do after that first leg not quite good enough really they'll need a better performance tonight then to progress to the next round and a look at the Chelsea starting 11 Emerick Laporte starts with Mukhtar Diakabe in central defence and Morata is the main striker for the... On and on he goes. And the referee doesn't hesitate, that is a spot kick. A clear penalty and a yellow card to boot. Cool 
again here, Derek. It looks easy, doesn't it? I can tell you it isn't. I'm telling you now. Well, let's have another view of that goal. Well, no wonder he's delighted. They've been bossing this game up to now. Pretty convincing looking aggregate score of 3 0. Others to play it to. be a fly on the wall in that dressing room if it stays like this Derek he's not happy just look at him coming up for you here on EA TV it's Chelsea will he play it in well, the header was respectable but the goalkeeper always options in the centre and they won possession again Space afforded him. Can't miss, surely. Well, to deny him from point blank range like that. Corner kick played in. Missed it clear. And a powerful effort, but just lacking accuracy. Yeah, narrowly wide, Derek. Decent effort. And just the one minute left in normal time here. We are through to the final after beating Chelsea at Stamford Bridge with two goals to one. That was a beautiful result, and we are we are in the final, the final of the Europa League. That's yeah, that's amazing. Uh, we, we're gonna focus now on on the league we're playing Spurs. As you can see here, they are one point ahead of us in the league. They are sitting second. We are sitting third. It's gonna be, you know, we have played a game less than they have, but. We can't really afford to lose this one. We have to win the game now. Or, you know, have a draw to, to get the second place. Uh, we have three games to play. They have two games to play left in the league. Um, yeah, it's not impossible. Um, I think it would be a, an amazing second second year in the, the Premier League to finish second. If, you know, we finish fifth on the first year in the Premier League and now we might finish second or we're battling for the second place at least. Yeah. 
and we're in the final of the Europa League and we are in the final in the FA Cup and we won the Carabao Cup. This is, you know, this is one, this is one brilliant year. We, yeah, I can't really see, I should end the series after this one. You know, when, when, when I play the Euro League final, I should probably end the series because I don't think we're going to get, you know, any better season than this one. But we're not gonna, I think. We'll see. I guess you guys, if you want me to end the series after this season, let me know in the comments. Um, but we're gonna focus now on, on playing Spurs again for the 2000th time this season. Uh, last time we played him in the league, of course, this season. So let's see if we can get three points away or at least a draw. Come on, boys. Welcome to the new home of Spurs. Nice to have you with us. It's a lovely day too. Martin Tyler here with Alan Smith, of course, alongside me. Premier League football is coming right up for you. It's Tottenham Hotspur against Mansfield Town. We're underway here with Spurs kicking off. Now Tongi Dombele. Here's Ali, Tongi Dombele, here's Harry Kane, still got a bit to do but this is promising, a great chance to go in front and they have done, oh that could be a big goal because this side knows how to defend Tottenham Hotspur in front, goal for Tottenham Hotspur, number 20, Deli Ali, trying to find the opening which would be so crucial, want to clear his lines here but make sure it's a bit more than just hooting it upfield Spurs are the side in control at the moment shreds it through difficult for it really in the clear now in on goal clean through no great risk at the moment in their own half well, they are winning the match of course it's a big call this for the ref after that earlier booking no sympathy here for the referee, for the offender. The team in the Premier League is this. Join us. Excited pass from Harry Kane. He's got support in the centre. Important touch from the defender there. Here's Lee. The break is definitely on. Got to keep his nerve here. Clean trace, top defended. Very enjoyable game, particularly I think to the Tottenham supporters who will be. We could be in. It's brilliant goalkeeping. Looking at my watch, four minutes left. Saw the pass coming and got there first. Please give a round of applause for today's man of the match, number ten, Harry Going King. forward well. Look at this again. It is the equaliser. They have managed it in the dying moments. We almost think that the team that was in the lead thought they'd won this match, but they've been made to pay for that. It is uh, level. Both sides have scored here now. The has indicated. There will be a minimum a good look of three minutes. What he's seen time. from this uh, period of play to add on three minutes. Time is against Tottenham, but there's still some time for them. Deli Alley. Part of Harry Kane's makeup to try the opposition back. He's moving forward well. That was a chance to really get in at the goalkeeper, running off the defender, but he's run offside. Well, that is the final whistle. It's all square. We have a one-all draw after Ibanez scores in the 90 minute to, to get the equalizer. So that takes us still a point behind Spurs. 
they are still one you know they play the game more than we um so it's looking good to be honest that second place well we have chills no we should be all right i think it's between us and spurs we're gonna fight for that second place with spurs and we if we manage to at least draw the the game you know we're gonna beat them on, on goal difference um, but we have two more games to play though let's see if we can manage to, to win against Aston Villa now if we take three points then um, yeah it will be look you know we have Chelsea in the last game of the of the league so maybe I should just focus now on win against Aston Villa and then we will see how it looks we have three players suspended as well, red carded. So anyway, we are playing Villa at the field mill and um, we have a slightly rotated team, as you can see here. So let's go, three points. Perfect pitch on a perfect day in this stadium. Martin Tyler here, Alan Smith is with me, I'm delighted to say. Premier League football for you, very shortly. It's Mansfield Town against Aston Villa. Well, we're underway here. Saw it coming, cut it out, good work. He might have put his teammate in here. Take another look at the goal. Well, it's been tight before that goal, but now the manager is so pleased because I reckon he feels his team can go on and win this. So the first goal, it's 1 0. Piece of anticipation. Good vision. In with a chance. Level, both sides have scored here now. So they are moving the ball well here. Excellent movement to get the pass and stay on side. Bit of a sprint at the moment to join Alan McAnally is watching. Really in the clear now, in on goal. And in the shot go. The keeper stops it. It could be a follow-up. It's back target. Oh, time to get the cross now. Under pressure, can he shoot? Defender blocks the cross. The ball glued to his... Got a try! It's a goal, they've scored here. They are now in the lead. Aston Villa, behind now. So far, as we've uh, shown, they've had lots of the ball, but just haven't been inventive enough with it. They've moved it on too slowly, made it too easy for the opposition to get back in shape. Well, then it goes. It's a frustrating way to go behind in a match when you contributed to the they see the shot powerful and Maxima he's in pain and the referees recognize that they ask you how you are you just have to say that you're fine and you're not really fine but you just can't get into it because they would never understand Back after being under pressure for some time. 
this does look promising. He can cut it back now, and the ball's in. Questions asked if they are, and to be honest with you, Martin, the opposition looks down and out down there. Well, I know this manager's been working hard on the training ground on a certain shape, and boy, is it getting results out there. So off they go again, trying to make some sort of mark in a game that they're being dominant. Here's Lee. Slip through. Space for the shot. He really fancied him to score, but the goalkeeper kept... Begin. Nakamba. Engels. Marvellous Nakamba. And it's coming to an end here with the final whistle. They never let up, did they? They kept on going to make this a very big margin of victory. Yeah, they were good. We win four goals to one, and we took the second place now since we all played 37 games with two points ahead of Spurs we're playing Chelsea in the last game yeah we need to we probably need to win that one I don't think it yeah well we could if we have a draw uh, the goal difference our goal difference is better than Spurs so it's gonna be tough yeah, we're going to focus on saving and winning. But that's for, for next episode. This episode is done. Uh, I don't know if... I, I forgot to show you, but uh, you saw in the in the game versus Villa that that uh, Gianetti uh, got injured. It was serious. Eight months. So we're going to... You know, for next season, he's not going to play for a while. And there's gonna be like we're in May, a month of May now. Then you know, June, July, August, three months gonna go from that. But still, eight months. We might have to think about getting a replacement, even though we have, no, we have Kanchi Cow. We have, we will be all right. Uh, I'm just gonna. Depends. You know, you never know in the free agency during the the preseason. We'll see. But eight months is eight months. That's tough. I want to thank you guys, as you can see now that the episode is over. Thank you for watching the episode 100. I appreciate each and every one of you that are actually still listening to this. And if you're new, press the subscribe button, press the notification bell, tick it on all, and you'll be notified when I drop new content. Everyone else, just please leave a comment. I will answer it. Leave a like, I will enjoy that. And you guys stay awesome, stay legends, stay healthy, safe, keep smiling, be kind to each other. And you know what? You walk good. <laughs>